My name is Matthew Arland uh, with the FAA. Hi. Hello. A couple of my colleagues. Yeah. Hello. Jeff. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Jeff. Hello. How you doing? Hi. All right. Good. Great. Good. Great. Good. Yeah. So you know why we're here. Three guys came in today with bright faces, a smile on their face. I was inside the warehouse helping out my dad with orders. We have a lot of orders to fulfill. I walked from inside the warehouse to the front door and every one of them shook my hand with a smile on their face. How can I help you? And they all flapped their badges, FAA, FAA, FAA. Great, nice to meet you. How can I help you? And one of them said, do you know why we are here? I told them, FAA, aviation, are you here for the Cessna motherboard that I worked on? In one of my videos, I worked on two of them. And they said, yes. Great, what can I do for you? And he said, we're just here for safety concerns. I said, how? Safety concerns as far as what? He said, it's not you. You do great work. We respect and appreciate what you do. But we just want to have more information about the person who mailed those motherboards over to you. I told them before we proceed, and I already know the answer, but I just wanted to confirm. I said, as a non-certified FAA technician who fixes motherboards, am I allowed to work on aircraft motherboards? I'm not FAA certified. He said, yes, of course. You can work on the motherboard, but the motherboard cannot go back in the aircraft unless it's signed off and certified by an FAA qualified technician. Great. We want to know who sent the motherboards to you. I told them it's an aircraft parts company. They mailed us two motherboards. Which company? Because we want to know if that company is certifying their motherboards, if they are selling their motherboards certified to aircraft owners. I told them I cannot give you my customer's information. That's private information. And not anybody who comes into our door asking for customer's information, I give to them. It does not work like that. I told them when we receive aircraft motherboards, we do our job. We test the board, we do our job, and we mail it back to the customer. Whether that customer want to hang the motherboard on his wall as a portrait, or that customer want to sell the board, he want to follow the rules, he want to certify or not certify, it's not really, we're not the law, and we cannot ask the customer how come, why, who, where. We cannot ask the customer those questions. He said, yes, but you know, if you would help us with the name, of the person or the company so we can investigate and make sure they are following the guidelines. I told them, I'm sorry, I cannot give you any names. I understand the safety concern. Your concern is valid, but I'm not the law. Okay, I cannot, I can ask the customer questions within the limitations of what I can ask that customer. The customer may or may not answer. The customer has the right to answer or not answer. You cannot force the customer to say what they do not want to say. Maybe that person is legit, maybe that person is not legit. I told them just out of curiosity, if somebody owns a $10 million aircraft, why would they go and buy a non-certified motherboard and install it in their aircraft? Or why would they go to a nobody and buy a motherboard from that person who has no track record of certifying or selling certified boards? He said, you'll be surprised. A lot of people do that. And instead of a person paying fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for a motherboard, they would pay two or $3,000 for a motherboard. I do not get it. A person who has a $10 million aircraft, 3,000 or 20,000 is pocket change. You risk a whole jet, a whole aircraft, because of buying from somebody shady or buying a non-certified board or buying from a company that you do not know. It doesn't make sense to me. He said a lot of people do that and that's our job to investigate. He went on to explain how the safety thing works. So I said, let me ask you a question. Based on your experience as an FAA inspector, is it normal for aircraft parts companies to mail motherboards over to a person like me with experience on how to fix motherboards? Is that normal? He said, yeah, it happens all the time. Aircraft companies, they mail motherboards to people like you with experience where you can fix the motherboard and mail it back to them. But you have to understand, that motherboard cannot go in the aircraft unless it's certified by a qualified FAA technician. We want to make sure that the company who sent you the parts is following the rules, signing off and certifying those parts. 
I said, I told them I cannot give you the customer's information. I can act as the middleman, try to get some information within the limitations of what I can ask the customer, and I can help you out in that matter, but I cannot give you that information. And he said, do you have the part number of the board? I said, in video number two, I mentioned the board number, and I did go to eBay because the motherboard was missing a resistor, and I could not read the model number of the resistor. We do not have schematics or board view diagrams. So I went online looking for a high resolution image of that same motherboard so I can read that part number off and I came across a guy on eBay. He's selling that same board for $12,000. I zoomed in and I was able to read that part number. Did you ever investigate that person on eBay who's selling the board? They said, no. I said, he's mentioned in my video and he's selling the board online. Do you know if that board is certified or not? And they said, no. I said, how come? So they said they'll look into it. I mean, if you want to do a job, you do it fully and not just from one area. I'm concerned about the safety also, but it's not my job to figure out if they are certifying or not certifying their boards. Like if you look on our channel, we have a lot of videos working on firmware passwords. A person comes in with a MacBook or a laptop where he forgot his password. He has a BIOS firmware password. The only way to get rid of the password is to work on the motherboard, remove the chip, reprogram the chip, solder the chip back on the board. It's a process, and I have a lot of videos going over this. And you have some viewers that wrote, what if that person stole that laptop? What if the laptop is not for that person? What if that person bought it from a person who stole the laptop? We are not the law. We are not the police. We cannot ask a customer, oh, let me see your receipt. Did you buy it? Where did you buy it from? Who am I to investigate that customer? We do our job, and... If that person is a bad person and he got caught, by all means, take him to jail. But to me as a person, as a technician, as a person who works on motherboards, I do my job and I'm not in the position to ask questions that I should not be asking. When I posted video number one working on the Cessna motherboard, we had a lot of comments. And I mentioned in video number two working on the second board how everybody is now an expert in the field. A lot of people wrote, you cannot work on an aircraft motherboard if you are not FAA certified. You're going to be liable, lawyers, insurance. I did have a couple of people who said, yes, what you said is right. Anybody can work on the motherboards as long as they get signed off. And I pinned one of the comments in the second video. But I mentioned in that video how a person want to argue with his doctor. He want to tell his doctor on how to do his job. That doctor went to school for 15 years. And that person who is a nobody, knows nothing about nothing, he want to tell his doctor on how to do his job. Or a person want to argue with his licensed plumber on how to run the pipes, or whatever the case may be. We have customers who mail stuff over to us, and they write, we suspect a shorted capacitor, we suspect a short circuit, and they want to tell me what to look for or what to expect or how to do my job. It does not work like that. A person watches a couple of YouTube videos and suddenly that person is an expert. The guy gave me his card and he said, any information you have, let us know by email if you can find any information. Two good things came out of this visit. I am now friends with FAA. I have connections. Maybe I want to buy an aircraft in the future. I know who to call if I have any issues. And number two is we're going to get a lot more aircraft motherboards to fix now. We are known to FAA. They appreciate the work that we do. They like the work that we do. They respect us as a business who fixes electronics, hence the smile on their face and the pleasant appearance. And expect to see a lot more aircraft motherboard repairs on the channel. I'm going to show you some surveillance footage, what happened between me and the inspectors. We have a surveillance camera on the front desk, but the thing is the camera only records movement and voice. So hopefully we have the whole footage. If not, then I'll post what I have. And we're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video. Hi, hello. My name. Questions? Yes, so hello, my name is Matthew Arland uh, with the FAA. Hi. Hello. A couple of my colleagues. Hello, Jeff. Jeff hello. How you doing? Hello. How you doing? Hi. All right. Good. Great. Good. Good. Good.
Yeah. So you know why we're here. Got a hotline complaint. Okay. All we're really concerned about is what this part's for and where is the part going. So we're not we're not here to criticize you or anything. Our concern is let's that board is going to go into an airworthy <clears throat> aircraft, yes. right? We need to know that before that board goes into the aircraft, that the mechanic or the AMP or the repairman or the 145 repair station. They should be liable if they put it in a plane without this being signed off. That's that's on them. That's what we're looking that's, for. Yeah, looking yeah. For that's that. what we're that's looking, looking for. for. That we need. That, it's, that's it's, you. it's not you fixing the board. I, we, I was hoping. Yes. That this customer was a local repair station around here, or somebody who had an aircraft. No, no. That no, said, no. "Hey, man, can you fix my thing?" And that would have been much more uh, appeasing to us, <laughs> or conf it would give me more confidence. But you just said it's a part distributor. It's a part person. It's a part guy. And it looks like they've been in business for a long time. And that's our big concern. Yes. Because yes. you may not be aware of it, but parts distributors like that have a history of not counterfeit parts, but parts that shouldn't be. The produced. company, what about that person I did mention in the video who's selling that board on eBay for $12,000? Did you ever contact that person to ask them? Questions? I don't. I don't. I didn't know if there was a. You mentioned anybody's name. I did mention video. somebody. I did mention. I looked up at a similar board that we were working on. Okay. Because a resistor was missing, I needed to know the value of okay. the resistor. I looked up uh, a, a high resolution image and I found a guy on eBay. Resolution image. I zoomed into the resistor and I was able to read the model number on the resistor. I bought the same one and it did not arrive yet, but it's on order and we're gonna install it for the customer. But uh, you should be contacting that person on eBay. Why he's selling parts? Is that one of the persons? Okay. But it surprises me that a person, uh, that anybody would buy a board that's not signed off to put it in an expensive airplane. Surprises that happens me. a lot. It right. does. It does happen a lot. Right. So that's it our concern. Right. Um, let, let's say you fix the board, you did your due diligence, right? But there's one little thing or, or whatever. It's not approved part and it's sold on eBay. Yeah. That could end up. In another aircraft, right? I'm not doubting your work, but if that part were to fail, there's no traceability. There's no guarantee that it was a certified part because it's at this point it's a suspected unapproved part because there's no 8130. There's no one. There's no documentation that certifies it as an aircraft or every the component. And that aircraft could just fall out of the sky right. and hurt people. It's not just the mechanics. No, my fault. question yeah. is, why would somebody risk a plane, such an expensive plane, taking a non-certified board and putting that board in the plane. Why would because they don't that? want to pay ten thousand dollars for a certified board. Yeah, so they lose a ten million dollar plane. They're getting a cheaper, people will risk that. Yeah, that's people the get problem. a cheaper part, and then they put the, the, the certificate. They'll take that, and they'll put a, a release tag on it, or not, or maybe, uh, a maintenance release a on it, return on it to it service, somewhere. right? So then somebody buying it, they don't know that that's phony, mm -hmm. and that happens out there. All the so time. you should be following those people who were making. Well, we, we never that's find it. them. We that's will. That's who are them? We will. Who that's are the information we're trying to get. We're trying to figure you. out who it's those okay. people I don't are. Wanna... Because the FA is just concerned with the safety aspect <laughs> of operations. I but if we can't, if we're not able to get like close this, like a uh, investigation and say, hey, everything was, it, it, everything was good, then we have to refer it to, you know. I mean, let me ask you a question based our on law enforcement agency to figure out, okay, this goes even deeper because, you know, as far as safety wise, we've already done our due diligence and we're not able to get the information that we need to say it's okay. I mean, based on your experience, yeah. do parts companies mail mm -hmm. their motherboards over to repair shops to fix based on your experience? Yes. That's there, we, yes, we, we have our parts we, in so general. The person we, may be legit. Parts in general. Yes, yes. exactly. We have, we have, there's, Plenty of repair stations there that we call them repair stations, right? Yes. They work on aviation parts. Yes. They can send if they have something that they cannot, they're not able to fix with their equipment, and they figure out okay, they isolate it. It's this thing, it's this motherboard. I know somebody, an electrician like you, that is awesome and he can fix it. He sends it to you, you fix it. He's you send it back to him. He inspects it. He he looks. He puts it in. His, his equipment tested. and he tested. tests all the tests that need to be run and then they're able to the, the bigger assembly they're able to say okay it works now and then they they'll, will, they will they'll certify it yeah they'll certify there is it. a okay. certificate okay. to it saying hey, this is 
it's all, all good. It's it's according to all the manuals or whatever. Basically, what you said is it's correct. Yes. Yeah. What I said about what? Uh, that anybody can fix it. Okay. But anybody it, can it, work it is, on it. Anybody it can work on it. FAA, but it must it, be signed off. It needs to be signed yeah. off. Yeah. And we need to ensure that the person, wherever, I mean, this could just be going in a novelty plot for all the time. We, we don't know. Yeah. But we need to ensure that the person, if they're planning to put this in an airworthy type designed aircraft, that they have the means to properly test it and certify it. Uh, make sure all the boxes are checked per Texatron or Cessna yeah. before it's signed off and put on an aircraft. Mm. That's what we need to ensure. So sometimes they'll, they'll buy these parts and they'll say, well, this one doesn't have a certificate that says it's good. So how would you to investigate send... the company if they are signing off the motherboard or not? We would look We would look specifically at the company because it, it sounds like it might be, and I'm not, I don't want to make assumptions, but it's, it's somewhere that gets stuff fixed and then they sell it to a customer. But they write a disclaimer that says this is not a certified or airworthy component that does not have what we call an 8130, which means it's authorized for release for an aircraft. And they disclose that to the customer. If if that is all said and done, that's in my mind, in our mind, that's fine. That's fine. Right. Um, but if he's selling these components with a phony 8130, that's an issue because now we have parts that are uncertified going to airframe. Yeah, yeah, a, po a pony it, certificate. A pony certificate, which okay. is a big, person who's buying, he's not gonna know it's pony. He's not gonna know it's pony mm. because the mechanic's gonna look at it. This is a perfectly good part. I have a 8130-3. Mm. They return the service on it. Yeah. Puts it in. He functional checks it. It's good. Are you guys local or you're coming? From yeah, somewhere? we're, we're, we're at a local. Okay. And that's um, the problem. That's that part there that's getting that tech. That I can be the middleman to investigate further and let you know what's going on. I can look yep. at their website and see if they have any claims that their products are certified before they sell them. I can get some information for you. I do not want to disclose the customer's name. Okay. It's private information right now. And since we have both motherboards here, there's no safety concerns right now. We did not share the motherboard right. back with the customer. This is the first time you've got the first time we got from the same company. In your in your video you had mentioned that he's gonna send you more, but you told him not to send any more. No, no, correct? we did not no in the video I mentioned that we told them that we cleared ourselves from any liability. Video. The first video we got a lot of people saying you cannot work on those boards if you're not at the AAs right, only a certified person can work on them. Repair stations are allowed to have what we call non certificated contractors. Yes. And that would be like yourself. You're a non certificated contract. Yes. He sends it out to you. You fix it. It goes back. And then that, re that repair station, and then what Warren was saying, would get, he would, they would provide the return to service for that board. Yes. Now, if it's a parts house, it becomes a little more of an yeah. issue, like we're saying. Yeah. It, are they really testing it, or are they just putting a certificate on it? It's a valid safety concern. I agree with you. Well, it's a valid safety concern. If that happens, or, you know, then if you can give me your company permission, or if you want to pass by in like a week, you can. I'll and go out. I'll, I'll go out and grab my business card. Um, grab it. I'll investigate further. I'm not going to send the boards back. To us, it's not worth it. To us. We have the stuff. You have plenty of work. We're not, yeah, we're <laughs> not, uh, it's not like this board is going to make or break the business. Okay. And we did not get paid for either boards yet. So to us, it's not a big deal. I'll let him know what's going on. And we need more information. I'll look over his website to see if he claims any certifications happening on those boards. And uh, I'll let you know. That's the best we can do. A transistor and a burned resistor here. Okay. I inspected. All the components on the board and they seem to be within range no faults we cannot test the board beside replacing them. how did those two fail i don't know uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah the first board also had a burnt one burnt component this one has two you said you already have the part number in that no it's on the video. It, is, is there the part number is on the video. Yeah, on the second video. Yeah. We did mention the eBay listing, and I mentioned the part number. I have your information. Email is on here also. Yep. Email, okay. office, and cell. Uh, I'll give you more information. I'll do my research. All right. Okay, very good. Thank you for coming. No, thanks right. again, man. Thanks for taking sure, Thank you. Of course. Yep. Take care. Bye. Uh, what was your name? Uh, Alex. Alex. Yes. Uh, yeah. Have a nice day. Thank you for your time. All right. Take care. Thank you.